welcome welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra raghuveer deshpande would like to welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel since last uh, video we have started with the series regarding the sexual transmitted diseases which are occurring because of the going to the organ or the prostitutes because of the a lot of exposure to this particular uh, sexual activities on the porn videos and all these things on the internet and all these things these problems are increasing uh, day by day so we must think about this particular problems like uh, venereal diseases or std today we are going to discuss about gonorrhea specifically the cause symptoms and investigations so myself professor deshpande is md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology for paid online consultation or paid online classes you can definitely contact on 9226810630 please only whatsapp okay so let us start with this particular problem of gonorrhea this is a infection of mucous membrane of genito urinary tract infection of mucous membrane of genito urinary tract the patient will complain burning of micturition burning while urinating he is getting lot of burning in the urethra uh, while a passage of the urine then yellow discharge that is pus yellow discharge or pus from the urethra as these two symptoms are very what you can say the irritating to the patient the patient cannot hide this disease patient can hide syphilis because you might be remember if you are if you are not seen that particular video please check the video of syphilis in the syphilis there is a painless single ulcer painless single ulcer and incubation period is also too long so before 3 months he has done some particular mischief of uh, visiting to the call girl or the prostitute and he is he has got that particular ulcer but uh, automatically it heals and the patient forget that he has some problem and he is enjoying oh there is no problem but gonorrhea he cannot hide that particular problem because the complaints are very irritating to the patient he has to go to the doctor and take the treatment that is i think a fortunate thing rather i can say okay that means compared to the syphilis which can be hidden which can be hidden by the patient and it goes for secondary or tertiary stages of that particular disease and afterwards after marriage that syphilis diagnosis is made when the patient gets a uh, tremors in the hands after marriage because that time the syphilis can reach to the brain that is called as a nervous system affection which is called as a tabes dorsalis that all the things i have discussed in the video of syphilis please go to that video and see in details okay now we will talk about gonorrhea more uh, predominantly so uh, this particular burning is there yellow pus discharge is there this will automatically less and less gradually then seen only that pus a drop of pus only after waking from the sleep gradually that pus discharge comes down but only a small drop of pus will come on the urethra when the patient gets up from the sleep and that particular is called as a gleet remember this word for mcq medical student should remember this particular words the gleet means when the gonorrheal pus discharge is reduced day by day and after last uh, stage that particular only a drop of the pus will be seen uh, when the patient wakes up in the morning that particular drop of pus is called as a gleet g l w t scanty and dried drop of pus okay gonorrhea how it will affect to all the different organs in the genito urinary system first there will be epididymis there will be epididymis will be affected and severe pain swelling and tenderness will be there the patient will not allow to touch or to test uh, to the testes uh, testicles are also painful on examination lymph nodes in the groin are enlarged and tender in the syphilis everything is without pain without tenderness what is tenderness pain on touching by the doctor okay then what you can advise doctor can advise urethral discharge examination for gonococci that is gram negative bacteria try to understand we have to do the culture a uh, urethral discharge examination culture should be done these are the nigeria gonorrhea under the electronic microscope you can see this particular organism which are affecting uh, to the patient now gonorrheal infection gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted bacterial infection that tends to attack the following mucous membrane of the body it can attack on the eye can you see over here pus discharge is there 
it can affect to the eye it can affect to the rectum it can affect to the mouth it can affect to the penis it can affect to the throat and this gonorrhea also can affect to the vagina once infected a person runs a high risk of spreading the bacteria to other parts of the body huh? the infection can also be spread from mothers to babies during the childbirth so what is the treatment for gonorrhea if there is history of exposure to the prosecute or the colder or yeah, if the patient person has done non protected without condom sex then he can when comes back he can get a, within 3 days he get in, during the incubation period after incubation period he will start burning excretion and pus per urethra then immediately doctor can prescribe tablet norflox norfloxacin 400 mg two capsule single dose okay or capsule ampicillin 500 mg six capsule at a time as a single dose then in addition to that cetal syrup is available one tsf in a, one glass of water three times in a day this is urinary alkalinizer the acidity will come down and burning will automatically reduce because of this cetal and co covering that nigeria gonorrhea uh, bacteria with the antibiotic so another there is a, a disease having some pus but that is not exactly gonorrhea that is called as a balano prostatitis balano prostatitis remember this another word balano prostatitis if pus is from the prepucial sac prepuce you know the prepuce in the prepucial sac if there is a pus clean that particular part repeatedly number 1 how to manage smear that particular uh, you can apply the sophromycin ointment around that uh, prepuce then if prepuce cannot be retracted for cleaning then irrigation cleaning will done with the potassium permanganate solution using a doctor with a plastic syringe okay capsule antibiotic basiclox basiclox i'm sorry uh, basiclox that is amoxicillin and cloxacillin 500 mg four times in a day qid for five days minimum five days rule out if the patient is suffering from balano prostatitis then uh, there may be a probability of having the diabetes mellitus to the patient so do the blood sugar fasting and post glucose or uh, glucose tolerance test that is gtt or modified glucose tolerance test that is mgtt for to rule out the diabetes uh, okay the patient is already having the diabetes then what uh, one can do control that blood sugar even with the help of insulin okay then after that particular infection has been cured by this uh, basiclox then you can refer this patient to the surgeon to do the circumcision to avoid the further recurrence of balano prostatitis now i am talking about the burning of micturition in uh, there are three two three four causes of burning micturition first simple cause is a urinary tract infection there may not be gonorrhea only urinary tract infection because of the e coli and that urine examination if you do then pus cells will be abundant in urine microscopic examination pus cells will be seen abundant then like fever fever with rigor fever with rigor and burning micturition is a typical features of urinary tract infection uti uh, that is that another cause that just now we have seen if there is a pus per urethra and history of exposure then that kind of problem will be gonococcal urethritis there are few cases which is called as a non gonococcal urethritis non gonococcal urethritis burning micturition will be there mucoid or purulent discharge particularly in the morning only but sometimes this discharge is very very less only burning micturition so this non gonococcal urethritis is because of the chlamydial this is a particular infection chlamydial urethritis and mind well my dear friend the treatment for chlamydial infection is totally different try to understand there is no norflox huh? you have to give tablet or capsule other capsule doxycycline this is a generic name and the market name brand name is a doxy 100 mg one morning one evening for 3 weeks this is very important doxy capsule should be given minimum for 3 weeks it can be extended up to 1 and 1 and 1/2 month ha dead mahina tak aap de sakte hain this is doxycycline then also you can give to reduce the acidity cap tablet pyridium this is the name of the tablet pyridium two cap two tablets morning two tablets in the evening and in ayurveda you have the very interesting uh, 
a very powerful drug which can reduce the pitta bio uh, pitta energy or the pitta dosha uh, vitiation it can be reduced heat can be reduced inflammation can be reduced by using tablet chandrakala chandrakala ras is available in the market ayurvedic tablet but dose should be high three morning afternoon that means 8 8 o'clock 12 noon 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock for burning sensation to reduce anywhere burning in the body eyes burning hands and palm are burning mouth is burning abdomen is burning, anywhere huh? so burning can be reduced by using chandrakala ras in ayurveda okay chandrakala ras primordial infection you can see these are the parts affected uterus fallopian tubes and ovary normal route of the eggs from ovary to the uterus you know this this is cervix and the primordial infection causes a build build up of scarring that can block the fallopian tube and prevent the fertilization so this is one of the important cause important cause of infertility not getting a child because that primordial infection can block your fallopian tubes in the ladies the fallopian tubes are blocked my dear friend this is all about the urethritis or the gonorrhea problem a non gonorrheal urethritis etc uh but this is a educational video for medical students and doctors the common man can increase his awareness or a knowledge of that particular topic but self medication should be avoided this is disclaimer vaidani ki ishara kaun si bhi bimari mein yatha avashyak ya sakal vaidhi ki salah lena bahut zarurat hai if anybody of you suffering from cerebral palsy arthritis mnd motor neuron disease cancer attention deficit hyperactive disorders idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura or such type of chronic disease or autoimmune diseases Ayurveda Academy has a team of expert doctors, so you can WhatsApp on nine two two six eight one zero six three zero. Also, I request you to like this video, thumbs up, share this video as much as possible, and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Ayurveda Academy. And holding my hands, give boost to me, and also, 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 what you can do, press the bell button icon to get the information about the new uploaded videos. Okay, I wish you all the best. Take care and bye bye.